Today we're going to be talking about whether vSync is good or bad, how to deal with lag, what is image tearing, and how to fix everything. So that it's much more fluid gameplay that you're getting out of your computer. But first, my name is Steve Smith, this is the QA Weekly, and I'm going to start off with a few questions to help you get smarter about this actual topic so that you'll actually understand it better. Will it, vSync, make it better or hinder your experience? Does a better graphics card actually mean more frames per second, right or wrong? Why is it that a bigger, better graphics card generating more frames per second is fundamentally a bad way of thinking about your gaming experience? And why is it that your graphics card generating more frames per second is not actually generating more frames per second? The answer is your computer screen. Your computer screen or monitor likely has a fixed refresh rate of something like 60, 120, 144, 240 or better, regardless of which year you're actually listening to this, because this is likely going to be true for a really long time. If you have something like FreeSync or G-Sync though, you also need the correct graphics card. And here's another hitch to the plan. You need a minimum and a maximum FPS in order for those technologies to work properly. Obviously the developer also has to develop for it, but basically your rig has to be ready for that. Let's deal with the bottoming out issue, lag. Lag is felt when we're experiencing less than 44 frames per second. It feels like our screen is frozen in time. And in that fast paced game of ours, where we're expecting to be able to see everything happening. When the screen freezes, we die. And that is particularly horrible and excruciating since it's particularly simple. It's particularly simple to solve that kind of issue. Solving this can be done by lowering the image quality, lowering the game resolution, turning off plenty of options. Yes, it won't look as fancy or nice or buying a better graphics card and doing so will bump up your minimum frames per second. If you can raise the minimum frames per second to match your computer monitor so that at its lowest it matches your computer monitor, then it's possible you suffer from a different issue. Now let's say you've done everything or you bought a brand new high-end graphics card, the lag issue is dealt with, the new issue is image tearing. Image tearing is when you're getting one image part at the top and another image part at the bottom because you're basically experiencing too many frames per second on the screen and the image processor in your screen is basically trying to keep up, but it can't because it can't actually generate more frames per second than the maximum frames per second your computer monitor was designed for. Therefore, since most of you use a 60 FPS screen, generating like 120 frames will obviously cause image tearing no matter what you do, especially when you're turning or changing place or changing room. So this can be solved using vSync. Now the job of vSync is to lock the vertical sync or the number of FPS per second to match that of your monitor and variable free refresh rates are based on vSync in a variable fashion. But what ends up happening is in the case of vSync on a fixed screen, it means that if you have a 60 FPS screen, your game is capable of generating, let's say hundred frames per second. Well, your screen will only get 60 frames per second and your graphics card won't work as hard to generate anything, won't be as hot. You won't die from heat stroke in your room and you will have the best of all worlds. Basically, this means that if you can deal with the lag and you turn on vSync, you can have a consistent frame per second on your monitor and to make yourself look even smarter in front of your friends, I want you to think about the differences. Your monitor has a fixed refresh rate unless you flipped for a more expensive screen and your graphics card could generate more frames per second, but you're smart enough not to do that since vSync's a thing and you don't want to suffer from image tearing. So you could say that you have a completely balanced computer gaming experience and your graphics card will last longer than your friends. What do you think about that? So like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those who think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website tqaweekly.com for everything else, or you can comment down below. And if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes 
two days in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and goodbye.